Hey, 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 hey. Ula, Mr. Warhawk. Your voice is high. Hey, just having some fun. Welcome, my friends, to another math video. Woohoo! Yes. Do you love math the way I love math? I hope so. Because I'm really looking forward to this great, great lesson today. We are looking at lesson 3.3, double threes. And of course, our topic is going to be compare and order decimals. Yes, I like decimals. Decimals are cool. And look at what our focus question is here. Our essential question, our learning target. Yes, it's how can you use place value to compare and order decimals? Two key words there, compare, right? Looking for the differences between maybe two things and we're gonna order them. So we're gonna put them in sequence. Yes, I love doing this. All right, let's get started. Unlock the problem. It says here, the table lists some of the mountains in the United States that are over two miles high. How does the height of Cloud Peak in Wyoming compare to the height of Boundary Peak in Nevada? Ooh, you know how I love my mountains. I like that hiking. Look at, we have the Tetons are located in Grand Teton National Park. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Yes. Anyway, let's look at our table. Our table shows mountain heights. Okay, they list the different ones. Mountain and state. We have Boundary Peak, Nevada. We have Cloud Peak, Wyoming. We have Grand uh, Teton Peak, Wyoming. And we have Wheeler Peak in New Mexico. And there's our height. I always like to look at them right away. Okay, I see decimals. <gasps> I'm scared. Oh, Mr. Wara, don't be scared. You can do it. So let's look closely. It says one way is to use place value. It says we can line up the decimal points. Start at the left, compare the digits in each place value position until the digits are different. Oh, I like this. This is like when you play, okay, that's a tie. This is a tie. And then this guy wins. You know what I'm talking about? If you don't, I will show you. It's really fun. Step one says compare the ones. Okay, the ones. Yeah, that's the two. And then we have the decimals to the right. And I see that arrow pointing down at the two. So the twos are the same. So it says two equals two. That's what I meant. It's a tie. Okay, nobody wins. Sorry. That means we have to move to the next place value. And step two says, compare the tenths. Now we know the tenths are right next to that decimal point. And look it, there's a four and 2.495, and there's also four and 2.488. Another tie, yes? Oh, but they left it blank for us to fill in. Cool, I'm gonna fill it out. And I say an equal sign goes in here. Equal, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Okay, step three says compare the hundreds. Okay, so we did the two, twos are tied, four, four tied. Aha! The nine. The nine always wins at the right. The nine is greater than the eight. Just checking. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Okay. I know. I'm kidding. Since nine is greater than eight, so sorry, eight, then 2.495 must be greater than. 2.488 and 2.488 must be, ooh, I like how they do this, change it around, is less than 2.495. Oh, I like this. this, is so much fun. So, the height of Cloud Peak is, what are we supposed to put in here, words? Greater than, I guess, because since it's a sentence, is going to be greater than, although there's like a word missing here. So, the height of Cloud Peak is greater than height of Boundary Peak, hmm. You know what? There should be a word the in there. That's kind of strange. Okay. How are we feeling with this, huh? I'm not quite as scared as I first was. So let's look at another way. It says use a place value chart to compare. Okay. So the first way was, was lining up the decimal. Remember the decimal point? I remember. I was paying attention to my own lesson. Woo. Now it says use a place value chart to compare. So it says compare the height of Cloud Peak to Wheeler Peak. Okay, and they listed them for us already? Yes, they did. And they put them in the place value chart. I can see that. 2.495 and 2.493. Okie dokie. 2.2 two was a tie. 4 well, equals 4, right? Okay. And 9 equals 9. Uh, is this a trick question? I don't know. And 5 is greater than 3. Oh, my goodness. 
I think a little cave boy could do this homework. It's so easy. So since 5 is greater than 3, then 2.495 must be greater than 2.493. And 2.493 is less than 2.495. Which, by the way, I say them point, but it is really 2 and 495 thousandths. And that takes a long time to say. So we do tend to say 2.493. So the height of Cloud Peak is there. See, there's the word the. I knew that word was supposed to be in there. So that's going to be greater than, greater than. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Now, math talk. Explain why it's important to line up the decimal points when comparing decimals. Hmm. Well, I would say, I mean, you need to line them up, right? You need to line them up in the decimal points so that you make sure, I suppose, that you're comparing digits of the same place value position. You see, if you didn't do that, then, you know, your answer's not going to be correct. See, a 2 in the 1's place is only has a value of 2, but a 2 in the 10th's place would, only, would have a value of 0.2, 2 tenths. So it really is important to line them up for that reason. All right, maybe I'll draw some notes about that. Okay, there you go. I tried to make it as neat as possible for you. Now I do believe it's not time to go to the next page. Oh, page turner person, whatever your name. Oh, what's your, your title? Oh, sorry. He wants to be called page master. Sure, page master. Why, thank you. Okay, now we're going to order decimals. It says you can use place value to order decimal numbers. All right, example. Mount Whitney, yes! I can't believe Mount Whitney made it in the problem. So Mount Whitney in California is 2.745 miles high. It says Mount Rainier is in, is in Washington, or in Washington, is 2.72 miles high, and Mount Harvard in Colorado is 2.73 miles high. Order the heights of these mountains from least to greatest. Which mountain has the least height? Which mountain has the greatest height? Okay, they're giving us some steps. This is step one. Line up the decimal points. Uh, there are the same number of ones. Circle the tenths and compare. Well, you can see with that circle that I'm putting around the tenths place, you can see that the sevens are all the same. It's a tie. So, we go into the next round. Step two says underline the hundredths and compare. Order from least to greatest. Aha, uh -huh. now I can see I didn't underline them, but I circled them. And I can see that Mount Whitney is the highest one because it has a four. And Mount Rainier has a two and Harvard has a three. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say since two is less than three and three is less than four, the heights in order from least to greatest are... Yeah, we're going to put least to greatest, 2 point, that's right, 729, because it has the 2. Then I'm going to put my 2.731, and then finally 2.745. So, Mount Rainier, that's kind of how it's pronounced, has the least height, and of course Mount Whitney has the greatest height. And again, it is 14,508 feet of course, they put theirs in miles. And actually, this is the tallest mountain in what they call the, the lower 48 uh, states. The only taller mountain in the United States, I suppose North America, I believe is Denali. That's in Alaska. Anyway, use a place value chart. It says try this. Okay. Now, this is the point where you might want to put the video on pause, you know. Just hit pause. See if you can work this out yourself since you just received some instruction on this lesson, and then turn it on, hit play, and then you can see how you did. So what is the order of 1.383, 1.321, 1.456, and 1.32 from greatest to least? Ooh, greatest to least. Got to be really careful. That's right. When we read these problems, especially for like assessments, you know, for your teachers, you want to always make sure that you carefully read the instructions. It says write each number in the place value chart. Compare the digits beginning with the greatest place value. Then you're going to compare the ones. Here's is it saying the ones are the same. They are. The ones are already listed. They're the same. 
So we're going to compare the tenths. And I have one point, so let's put a 3, a 3, so we're going to put 1.3 to 1. 1.456 and 1.32. Okay, this is compare the tenths. Well, we have a winner. That's right, the 4 beat out the 3. So the greatest number we already know, right, is 1.456. Now it's to circle the greatest number in the place value chart. Circle it? Okay, I'll circle it. So compare the remaining hundredths. Looks like we have 8 is greater than 2. So the next greatest number is, yeah, 1.383. You see that 8 is greater than any of the 2's that are there, so I'm going to go ahead and put 1.383. It says draw a rectangle around the number. Now it says compare the remaining thousands. 1 is greater than 0. Now I don't see a 0 up there. However, don't be fooled. When you have 1.32, we could write what is called an equivalent decimal. An equivalent decimal, we just put a zero after those digits, and it really doesn't change the value of the number. That's if it's blank and there's nothing there, we know it's a zero. Then one does beat out the zero, so the order of the numbers from greatest to least is 1.456. We usually use a semicolon here to separate our numbers to not be confused with the comma. So we'll put a semicolon, 1.321. And finally, our last guy, 1.32. Yes! Oh, is that some music uh, here in the background? Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. That means that our video has come to close, my friends. My goodness, that went fast. It was like, and it was just gone. But you know what? You know, I'm going to be back. I will return. Now, my friends, live long and prosper.